Hi friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will see a very important property of a Laplace transform known as the Laplace transform of derivatives. So if the Laplace transform of f of t is denoted by f bar of s and also f dash t that is the derivative of f of t is uh, continuous than the Laplace transform of f dash t is equals to s f bar s minus f of 0. So we can say in general that uh, Laplace transform of nth derivative of f of t would be s to the power n f bar s minus s to the power n minus 1 f of 0 minus s to the power n minus 2 f dash 0 and so on. So now let's uh, see the proof. By the definition of Laplace transform we know that uh, the Laplace transform of f of t is e to the power minus s t f of t dt and integrating it uh, over 0 to infinity. So the Laplace transform of f dash t would be here our function is f dash t here so it would be just integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f dash t dt here f dash t is at the place of f of t here so now we will do the integration by parts so in integration by parts we first uh, assign uh, first and second functions let's take uh, this is the first function and here we have the second function. Now let's do integration by parts. By the formula of uh, integration by parts, we know that the for definite integration by parts, if uh, we have two functions f of x and uh, g x, okay, g of x. Here g dash x means the differentiation of uh, g of x. So to make the formula compact and easy so we take it as g dash x so we have two functions here so the integration of this from a to b would be f of x the first function and the integration of second function okay and the limits same limits a to b minus the limits a to b the differentiation of first function okay differentiation of this first function and integration of second function and this multiply and this uh, is integrated over a to b okay with respect to x so this is the formula now we will treat this as first function and this as the second function okay so watch carefully so first of all write the first function as it is so first function is e to the power minus st okay and uh, integration of the second function so second function is f dash t its integration uh, with respect to t would be f of t okay it is already the differential so its integration would be f of t and the limits 0 to infinity minus the limits okay 0 to infinity and now f dash of x so the differentiation of this first function e to the power minus st its differentiation would be e to the power minus st into minus of s minus s okay and then differentiation and then the integration of second function so integration of second function its integration of f dash of t would be f of t okay and this is dt so it is all uh, integrated from 0 to infinity dt okay now just uh, solve this put uh, the upper limits at the place of t minus the lower limits that is lower limit that is 0 in this place so e to the power minus st f of t limit t tending to infinity minus the lower limits means e to the power 0 f of 0 okay plus this is plus means uh, this minus and minus has become plus here so it is just 
plus s and the same expression okay here is the same expression so we can solve it as uh, if i place infinity at the place of t so i would get e to the power minus infinity which is nothing but zero so this is zero minus e to the power zero is uh, one and f of zero plus s this is what this is just the laplace transform of f of t it is by definition of laplace transform okay so it is the laplace l for the laplace operator laplace transform of f of t this expression we have seen uh, we were calculating it for laplace transform of f dash of t so we can uh, write it as laplace transform of f dash t is equals to s f power s minus f0 just to rearrange it we can uh, simply find the second derivative laplace transform from the from the following relation by just replacing f of t by f dash t okay therefore the laplace transform of second derivative of uh, t would be s square f bar s minus s f of 0 minus f dash 0 on uh, generalizing it for laplace transform we can find the the laplace transform for the nth derivative of this function so the laplace transform for the nth derivative of a, of t f of t would be s to the power n f bar s minus s to the power n minus 1 f 0 minus s to the power n minus 2 f dash 0 minus and so on up to f to the power n minus 1 0 okay so hence it is proved i hope you found it useful and uh, if you found it useful then please uh, like and share it and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more uploads engineering made easy thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye